everybody to our next lecture. This is the Weiner Wellness Week sponsored by the World of Wellness and Nutritional Frontiers. And we have the future of nutraceuticals is here, SPMs for Inflammation Plus with Jamie Dorley, CEO and owner of both World of Wellness and Nutritional Frontiers. So some of my favorite things, Jamie, you and SPMs. I was going to say, I got to be at the top of your list, right? So, <laughs> you are. Hey, sometimes I'm at the top, sometimes I'm at the bottom, but either way, I'm on the list. So thanks so much, Dr. Tracy Stroud, for having me on. Really excited for the Weiner Wellness Week. This is our fall fiesta at the brand new World of Wellness. What do you guys think of the brand new facility? Yeah, oh, they're going crazy. People are flipping out in here. So <laughs> thanks so much for all the support. We built this for you guys. So we are really excited and proud of the new World of Wellness. Same location, but new facility. And this is the Wellness Week, the first one we're doing. And we're doing this live and restreaming. So uh, we listened to all the requests out there, Dr. Tracy. And many people said we can't do it. However, Phil said we can. That's right. right. When people say, I don't know, Phil says, what if you did know? So we're able to do the Wellness Week live with so many people here today. We have a great group of people here to help you out. So if you want to come in, come on down. The food truck is open. Phil, while you were hanging out yesterday on your day off, I was cooking all day. <laughs> so free, healthy, organic food. Come on down. We've got the food truck here from 11 to 2. And uh, we're doing it a la carte today. So you can pick and choose what you like. You can do vegetarian, you can do eggs, you can do organic chicken, beef, whatever you like, and all the great veggies are out there. So Wine and Wellness Week, we do this event five times a year. It's an opportunity for you to have a wellness experience. And when you look back to where you are um, now from years ago, you always do more things in wellness because it snowballs, the excitement, the positive results, and we have a complete team to help you. So we are accepting new patients. We have the lovely and talented Dr. Ashley Rossi. She's a naturopathic doctor. She's specializing in female health, weight loss, GI, and also um, thyroid and hormones. So Dr. Ashley is accepting new patients. We have Dr. Phil Ross, doctor of chiropractic, and he has some unique technologies, including laser treatment. I don't know if you guys have gotten a laser yet, but that is available here. Dr. Gideon Orbach, he is a anchor of the Wellness Center. He's been here for 14 years and just celebrated his 20th year in practice. And we have Jeff Nisnick, who just talked. I know that was a big uh, topic this morning, was allergy elimination. So if you want to make an appointment, give us a call at 412-922-WELL. That's 412-922-9355. In addition, you can participate this week by coming in live. We're open all week. If you'd like, we can do mail orders. All you need to do is simply call the office, and they can ship out all the products and you still get the discount and free shipping. And if you like curbside pickup, we can do that too. Maybe you need the product today. You want to pop in during your lunch break. Just call ahead of time. We'll get the order ready. You pull up, and what do you do, Phil? A little toot-toot, right, on the horn. Bring it right out to you. Bring it right out to you. Quicken and dominoes. So we're here to help you. I know some people even do email the orders or fax the orders in, um, whatever it takes to help you out. So we're here all week. You can come down live and participate. We have all the workshops, free healthy food. We have a great smoothie bar set up. Did you guys try the smoothies today? Oh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Place is going crazy again. So my favorite, of course, is the Power Cleanse and Lean Greens combination. But Brady's Berry Blast was a big hit on Saturday. I got to give Brady credit where it's due. And uh, we have many different recipes there. We have all the pro colors. We have about 10 different chewables, including Nutritional Frontiers Probezyme and Douglas Labs Vitamin D. So come on down, folks. We have a tremendous amount of free literature and education. You can try samples here. And we even give you some samples to take with you. Did you guys get your sample packs the other day? Yes, they did. So many different samples to help you out. So I'm going to talk about a little more about the Wellness Center, and then we're going to jump into SPM. So... We have seen over 100,000 patient visits in the last 40 years. Of course, me and Phil weren't there for 40 years, but Dr. Weiner started this way back in the South Side before some of you were born. And now it's evolved to <clears throat> the Weiner Wellness Center, now World of Wellness. So it's a full staff facility. We are bringing in some more practitioners in the near future. In the meantime, we do chiropractic. We do laser treatment muscle therapy, 
naturopathic medicine, functional nutrition, kinesiology, applied um, kinesiology. We do the allergy elimination technique. And then we do a tremendous amount of education. So you may know us from the radio. You may know us from the wellness weeks. But this is an opportunity for you, your family, your friends, whoever it may be, to become empowered so that you can make informed, empowered decisions on your health. Because as we learn from Robert Scott Bell, health and wellness is a choice. So we're here to help you make the right choice. I just was actually this morning, Tracy, talking to a client came in and she goes, oh, I know what to do. I just don't do it. Well, if that's the case, <laughs> we're here to help you do it. Have you found that to be true with, you know, even back to personal training or being a doctor yeah. of uh, naturopathic medicine? Even back to personal self, right? I mean, we know what to do. Sometimes we just don't do it. And then all of a sudden we start to get symptomatic and we're like, oh, I should probably be doing all the things. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big. I, I, mm -hmm. Look, I get off course sometimes too. And then I need to be smacked and get right back on course. So. <laughs> That's we're here to help I'm you. I'm right do. there for you. The idea, <laughs> you like the smacking part. I know she's always there for me, Phil. You know we're here to help you get healthy and stay healthy. So you may need to meet with the healthcare professionals once, three, five times. You may not. It depends on where you're at. I just had a gentleman come in earlier, and he was you know concerned about pricing and products, and then we started comparing them, and he realized, wow, you got more um, comprehensive formulations. So we invited him to come back in this week to bring all his vitamins with him to help him cut back maybe 30, 40, 50% on the volume of different products. So we do a lot of support for you here. We're here to help you. We're your partner, and we want to be uh, your community center here for natural health and healing. We do accept walk-ins, so you may be lucky. If not, we can at least help you with the nutritional component. So believe it or not, I've been in the industry 30 years. I know it's hard to tell, Phil, because it looks so young and vibrant, right? But I graduated December. will be my 30-year anniversary. I went to Slippery Rock right down the road. It was so long ago that my major was not even public health. It was community health. But worked in the health club industry as a personal trainer for a long time. Worked in sports nutrition in the 90s. And for the last 20-plus years, I've been helping healthcare professionals and patients get on wellness programs to improve their health. So back in 2008, Dr. Weiner and myself started Nutritional Frontiers because we felt that there was a need in the field of natural health for a company that really partnered with the healthcare professionals and the patients and really focused on education and more comprehensive solutions. So you can buy products anywhere. However, if you want to improve your health and wellness, this is the place, World of Wellness. You can participate this week online. You can come in, or you can even do curbside pickup, or we can ship you anything you need. In addition, I do um, own Nutritional Frontiers and the CEO of Nutritional Frontiers. And Nutritional Frontiers and World of Wellness are partners um, in our mission to really improve or really make the world healthy, right? That's really our mission. So we want to improve your health, but making the world healthy. And it all starts with quality. Trace, has anyone ever told you that their quality was bad? No. <laughs> they don't yeah. come out and say, hey, we have terrible products that are low quality. <laughs> yeah, and I, we get questioned a lot on the quality. I think Glenn did a really nice job today talking about quality at Nutritional Frontiers and all the product lines we cover here. Nutritional Frontiers, I worked at Metagenics under Dr. Jeffrey Bland for years. Great products. Douglas Labs, the Leon family right out of Pittsburgh, PA. Great formulations. We carry a lot of different companies here, um, and they all have the top quality. So the first thing it starts with is the facilities. So they have this thing called FDA GMP. So what the FDA GMP means good manufacturing practices. What this did was it streamlined the manufacturing practices. What the whole goal at the end was that the products are pure and potent. So we say pure, if they say there's no artificial flavors, such as the line by Nutritional Frontiers, that's guaranteed 100%. And we say something like our SPMs, we guarantee the potency, that's 100% guaranteed. So it's purity and potency. You can still make a cheap product in a GMP certified facility. So it goes above and beyond just a facility. It goes down to the selection of raw goods. If you think about it, think about restaurants. 
we all assume that the health department inspects McDonald's and the Capitol Grill. What's the difference in the food choices? It's the selection of the raw goods, right? So you can still make an inferior formulation in a GMP certified lab. However, Nutritional Frontiers uses the right amounts of the right ingredients and the right delivery forms without anything you don't want in there. And during the past year, we've introduced 30 new formulations. Most companies may not even have 30 formulas. We've introduced that during this uh, crazy time of COVID. We brought new powders, liquids, chewables, and all are guaranteed 100% to meet label claim. So it really goes back to the amount of therapeutic dosing, the form of the ingredients, and what else is in there. Let me give you an inside picture of what goes on. We had some people asking, oh, what do you guys do before and after the show? Well, here's an example of how we come out with a formulation, including our SPMs, which we're going to talk about today. That's actually me and Rashid uh, touring a facility uh, that makes fish oils down in Miami a few years back. And the same owners of that facility now make our SPMs in a pharmaceutical lab in Germany. So the highest quality control standards in the world is where we make our SPMs. And that's really important. Because when you're looking at fractionated concentrations of these really unique and delicate ingredients, this is going to determine whether you get a great result or not. So what we do is we review the ingredients that work, not only in the wellness center, but, out, but throughout the industry. We select a facility. So for SPMs, we had to go to Germany because we wanted the top quality. Because some facilities may not have the experience or the technology or the testing equipment that they need. However, this one did. So we sourced the right ingredients through Todd Parker and his team at KD Nutra. I've worked with Todd for the last 20 years. He's known as the fish oil expert and omega-3 guru. And that's where the SPMs are derived from, omega-3s. They're not just fish oil. They're specific pro-resolving mediators which we're going to talk about. So we created a formula. We tested the formula by Eurofins, number one testing company in the world. They are third party, so what that means, as you know, Tracy, that they only get paid to test the ingredients. They don't get any payment right. for distribution or manufacturing. It's specifically to test the ingredients. So that's why it's called third party. We pay them if it passes or fails, it doesn't matter. <laughs> then we create the label based on the test. And Tracy, it was interesting, when we looked at some of the other labels in the uh, field, we noticed what some of them did not include some of the most important ingredients. Why do you think that was? Probably because it didn't test for it. <laughs> yeah. They're they not didn't in test there. for it. They didn't create the formula based on that. And they're probably not using a German pharmaceutical facility to mm -hmm. do the manufacturing. So now we're testing the formula for compliance with our team. We've gotten great results already. Any um, testimonials you want to give? Maybe just one on the SPMs, maybe with your son? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Saturday, he's, he's 11 years old. He plays youth football. Uh, you know, it's full gear. Uh, so he was playing and he, I, he either tackled or got tackled one of the two. I can't remember, but when he fell, he fell on his knees and he actually fell on the face mask of another player. And when he did that, the, the mask bars like impacted into his kneecap. So he was, he was hurt. He, you know, he's not one to cry, but he was on the field limping around and crying and they took him out for a play. And um, when he got home, his knee was huge. And I don't think it hurt anything inside structurally, but I think it was a very deep bruise. So immediately I did SPMs with him. I gave him two, he's 11. So I gave him one when he was home and then one before bed. And I used the topical, uh, the transdermal cream with the lipoderm technology from Nutritional Frontiers. And that was the only two things that I did. And uh, yesterday at about six o'clock, my husband was like, he's not hurt. He's totally fine. He's out there playing with Luke, you know, <laughs> tackle football. But it just goes to show you how fast it can work. And, you know, obviously he's a kid and he'll recover a little bit quicker than maybe you or I. But I really think that accelerated, um, you know, modulation of the of the inflammation and then the activation of the cellular repair, which is what those SPMs do very safely, uh, was really the key. So he did two on Saturday, two on Sunday, and I gave him one this morning. Um, and he said, Mom, I think my knee's good, but a little bit of bruising still, but he's fine. And I, I don't know if he'll practice tonight or not. I said to my husband, he shouldn't, but you know. 
<laughs> You'll probably be on the field. That's the, that's the mom and you. However, that's I'm right. sure your your husband, the coach, will get them out there. So, yeah, I mean, her kids are really active with all the sports. And uh, I even jumped on the field, Phil, when I was out there tossing the football a little bit. Still got it. But uh, kids are great athletes, and they have a lot of fun with them. I'm glad that you got them right back on the road to recovery. And that's the key, folks, with any of these nutrients is to keep them on hand. I was just talking to a guy who's asking me about COVID and the virus, and I said, do you have Immunomax? Do you have C, D, and Zinc at your disposal at home? Take one a day of all of them. That way you can address it right away. Because I think too many times, Tracy, someone gets an injury like that, even if it's a mild one, and they wait days, and that inflammation is just mm -hmm. building up. The swelling increases, the um, bruising increases, and that's all got to be drained at some point, right? Right, um, right. So the longer you wait, the harder it is. It's like anything else in life, right? It's better. To, that's why prevention is worth it. It's better to address it on the front end than to wait. And even with things like SPMs, have those on hand, take one a day. And then if you have an, an issue, you can always increase the dosage. That's what I do. So here's some of the more than 50 patented research trademarked ingredients. We are becoming known nutritional frontiers, even though we're still a young company. We are, we're 13 years old and we use over 50 patented research trademark ingredients. And Trace, I know, um, you know, you've been on the team the last few years, but, you know, I think you were even surprised at the amount of those ingredients that our size company would use. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, uh, how much research is behind each one of those and how important it is to understand the formulations when you're choosing them. You know, I always said I've, I've learned so much on this side of the supplement bottle. We're not taught this. And, you know, healthcare. when you go for medical degrees or naturopathic degrees, you're not taught ingredients of nutrients, you know, or, or why they're so important. Um, you're, you're taught herbology, you're taught different things. But then when you get out in the real world, there's a lot more education that you need on nutraceuticals. And uh, that's why we do what we do. So, and I've been over uh, to over 50 trade shows in the last 15 years that has all the top ingredients throughout the world. So we partner up with these companies and they provide the incredible research for safety, number one, and efficacy, number two. So uh, rather than the generics, we like to use the patented research trademark ingredients whenever we can. And some of these you may be familiar with, like the quadrifolate and the Imodian, which is in now um, the greens powders, you know, the Trax minerals that we use in Mag Complete. You know, way back, even before Nutritional Frontiers, the BioCell and the HA Plus doc was using that um, back when I met him around 2000. So a lot of these ingredients we've been utilizing for a long time, but be assured that we are using the right ingredients and we're adding more to the line as we continue to grow and especially things like the Ludamax, which won ingredient of the year a couple of years ago for eye health. So we have the ingredients in the formulations and uh, we continue to work on new ones. So we'll continue to bring these out. So KD Farmer is a group um, that Todd Parker, a good friend and colleague of mine, is a part owner. So um, that's a good thing about relationships in the field of natural health is that you continue to work with people and grow together. And uh, Todd's group was one of the leaders with the PRMs, um, the pro-resolving mediators. We, we call ours SPMs, specialized pro-resolving mediators. So these are really specific fractions of omegas that you don't get just from fish oil. So you have to get these concentrations and the way they process the fish oil. And that's why we brought out a separate formulation. But let's just look at the next generation of omega-3s. Why are omega-3s so important? Have you ever heard of omega-3s for cardiovascular health? Sure, they're actually a prescription, mm -hmm. right, for triglyceride and heart conditions. Uh, what about for brain? Well, if you look at your brain and you wanted to build it, you would use fish oil because it's made of about 70% omega-3s, EPA, and mostly DHA. So the brain, the heart, um, what about your hormones? You know, when you have these omega-3s in all your cells, all your cells, you remember back to seventh grade, wasn't that long ago, Phil, right? You had to draw the picture of the cell. The cell membrane, all the fluid in there is fat. And when it's omega-3s, the cell looks real big and healthy. It's like a grape. Nutrients get in. It can turn things on. And then waste products get out. What happens when people age rapidly, maybe a smoker, diabetic, cardiovascular disease, whatever it may be, 
over time, these cells, if you're depleted of omegas, they shrink. So they go from a grape to a raisin. They become more rigid. That's what type 2 diabetes is, right? So we need the omegas for all your functions of your body. All your cells require them. And now we have this next generation with the SPMs and the PRMs. But every single cell in your body requires omega-3s. That's why I still take the omega-3 liquid 2800 by Nutritional Frontiers. And what I do is I add on the SPMs in addition. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you have to have a good base of good fats first. And then the SPMs can carry those forward. Because in our formula is the pre-resolvings, which will take these good DHA and EPA and turn them into those specialized resolvers of inflammation. So I agree with you. Oh, we, did you hear that, I Phil? Agree. That's twice this week. Tracy and I agree. <laughs> it might be the Two first times. time. Hey, Joe, how are we doing? <laughs> so I look at it from the omegas, from the supplement, but also from food. So I actually uh, ran out of my natural nut butter yesterday, hint, hint, so I could get some more. I was like Winnie the Pooh at the bottom, scraping the bottom to get some extra nut butter. But I like nut butters. I like avocados. I like uh, fish, fish oils, egg yolks. Get your natural good fats in. And then also supplement with something like the liquid omega-2800. It's a really potent concentrated oil. It's really easy. One teaspoon first thing in the morning. And you got your dose in for the day. So here's our SPM. I like to say that this is excellent for inflammation, especially cleaning up the inflammatory debris, and we'll get a little more into the science. Homeostasis, which really means equilibrium. The body is always fighting to remain balanced. So when you're out of balance, the SPMs can pull you back in, and it really helps our body age in a healthy manner so that we're not accelerating the aging process, right? So anti-inflammatory rebalances and helps you age in a more healthful and healthy way. Now, this is where the <clears throat> quote-unquote rubber meets the road, right? Because this is our label and is also our flyer. We actually break down the concentrations in this. So it still has the marine concentrate. That's the oil, right? It has PRMs about 400 milligram, and it's three different components, <clears throat> excuse me, of this. And that's the 18, the 17, and the 14. So these are three different pathways we need to cover because they all result in specific anti-inflammatory concentrations that we're looking for. So some companies don't list this on the label. Some companies do. We list the 18, the 17, and the 14, and that's not very common. It does have some EPA and DHA in it, but we're really looking for those pre-resolving mediators that we're going to talk a little more about. So who's the target group? Well, one is the healthy immune system, right? So the PRMs will support a healthy immune system. How they do that? Well, they give that proprietary blend of the omega-3s, the EPA and DHA, which help cool down inflammation in the body. Plus the PRMs will actually rebalance the immune system because sometimes this can get out of balance with your T helper cells. That leads to things like allergies, chronic inflammation, and immune dysfunction. But a lot of benefits that um, healthy immune system, healthy benefits, eye, GI, inflammation, skin, so many different ways that you can get benefits from this one formula. So here it is, as we said, specialized pro-resolving mediators. They're discovered actually from components of omega-3s and omega-6 fatty acids. They help resolve the inflammation and can be produced all over the body. Tracy, can you talk about that? You put, say it in such an eloquent way when you say resolve the inflammation. Yeah, so SPMs work on two arms. They work on resolving inflammation from stopping the macrophage type 1, which is the fight or flight of our system. So we get cut, we have a surgery, we get an infection of some sort, maybe a bacteria or a virus. Our body goes into high alert. It sends out the immune system response like a bunch of firefighters. Uh, and they go over and they try to put out the fire the best they can. There's a lot of fire trucks and bells and whistles and noise. And then what the SPMs do is they actually tell the fire company, all right, calm down. We're going to bring in the cleanup crew. We're going to bring in the ambulance. We're going to take everybody away that needs to be taken away. And then we're going to start rebuilding this structure and cleaning up the scrap. Um, so when we modulate the 
the, um, the immune system, it's not just to have a reaction towards the viral infection or the culprit that's hurting us, but also to help keep it under good balance, just enough inflammation to get activation and then enough cellular repair to recover from it. And that was the issue what we saw with COVID. We had a lot of fire trucks and we didn't have a lot of cleanup crew. So it's really about activating macrophage type two, which helps the body calm down, get back to homeostasis, and then start the repair that we need to get better. Yeah, that's a great example and uh, explanation. And, you know, something that hit home during our training was that, you know, if you have a, a small fire or a big fire in your kitchen and your smoke alarm goes off, a lot of the NSAIDs will just shut the smoke alarm off. What the SPMs will actually do is go to the fire and cool it down so that you don't have that whole inflammatory process. And that's really what we're trying to do is, and that's the uh, homeostasis component of this, right? But there's this whole chain of events that you had mentioned, and this can be in response to a trauma, right? Like your son had a mild trauma or injury playing football. But what about when this inflammation becomes, um, it transitions really from an acute phase to a chronic phase, right? And all the tissues surrounding it, the cells, the tissues, the blood vessels, all become inflamed. That's diabetes, right? That's Alzheimer's. That's heart disease, right? That's arthritis. That's autoimmune conditions. These all start with an acute inflammatory cascade. And then eventually it's a low to moderate or even high grade inflammatory process. That's why we always say let's chase the cause because most of these causes are from things that you voluntarily ingest, right? It could be a medication, an over-the-counter. It could be a really cheap vitamin, right? That has a lot of dyes or additives. It could be a food. It could be environmental. It could be emotional stress. There's so many different components to it. You know, medicine has really taught us that, you know, the germ theory. It's a single germ and a single um, fix, right? We look at this more of a web of health, that there's so many complex reactions going on. But it's a chronic inflammation that's associated with so many diseases that people nowadays, I mean, the autoimmune conditions alone, even before the virus, forget about in the next three to five years, they are going to be the single thing I think that's really going to um, damage our healthcare system more than anything. What are your thoughts on that, Tracy? Because that's my concern is autoimmune conditions and SPMs may be a great solution for that. Yeah, I think, you know, when we have autoimmune conditions, that really means that the DNA is transcribing the wrong information mm -hmm. all the time. So it really starts at the innate and the adaptive. And a lot of the therapies that we look at, they work just at the adaptive level. They're working at trying to shut off like the cytokine storm or shut off the communication of an antigen or an antibody being made against it, rather than going back to the innate immune system and retraining the communication through the DNA. In SPMs, these specialized pro-resolving mediators, they actually come from the innate immune system. So this is a retraining at the top so that the DNA can transcribe. Now, can a cure, treat, or diagnose? I don't know. I don't have enough research on that, but I'm sure somebody out there does. But from what I've seen uh, with autoimmune and with brain, neurological, and certainly with COVID, uh, this was an activation of tool-like receptors in the innate immune system and SPMs. So we saw from the innate down the communication that was changed and the DNA actually transcribed the right communication. So can it shut it off? Uh, I would say through studies and science and research that we've seen that yes, in a, in a large majority of the studies that I've looked at, SPMs actually shut off that cytokine storm, that overactivation of the immune system. Yeah, I think the medical, commu uh, medical community is finally understanding that unresolved and uncontrolled inflammation is the core of so many chronic diseases, right? They're even saying now Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, cancers, autoimmune conditions, right? And you got to think about anything you put in your mouth, food or drink, medicine, supplement, whatever it may be, it's either anti-inflammatory properties or it's pro-inflammatory. That's why Dr. Wana for years and Tracy's talked about this and Dr. Len and myself is the food is pro-inflammatory. So if you eat fried foods every day, you eat um, you know, these trans fats every day, um, you eat artificial flavorings, um, dairy products, these are all pro-inflammatory. You're giving the body the building blocks for inflammation. No wonder you're inflamed. So rather than just saying, oh, what's the cure? 
well, what could be causing this? And most of the time, it's things that you voluntarily ingest on a daily basis. So they don't block this initial inflammatory response, but they prevent this excess of inflammation. And again, promote tissue homeostasis. I think that um, statement right there is really powerful because, you know, most people, when they're in a disease state, they're told what, Tracy? Oh, there's no cure, number one. And number two, oh, it's not your fault. This is due to your genetic component. Right. The well, biggest the thing case, that I think you they... have it when you were born. Exactly. And I think that takes away all hope. When they say, hey, this isn't your fault, it just happens. I tell people the reason that you're sitting in my chair talking to me is because this is your fault. But the best part about that is you had control over how you got here. Now you know you have control of how you get out. When we take yeah, away the responsibility, you take away the hope too. Yeah. I was going to say, it takes away all hope and all responsibility, right? Mm -hmm. It's not your fault. This is genetics. You were going to get this no matter what, and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, let me go get ice cream. Let me go to McDonald's. Let me continue to smoke and drink and do whatever I want to do, right? Because it takes away all responsibility. You know, we still have a poster up in Nutritional Frontiers, Dr. Weiner's famous quote, anything can cause anything. If you give the body what it needs, it can heal itself, right? And these SPMs have some really interesting nutrients that they promote, and that's the resolvins lipoxins, protectins, and maricins, right? These are all these pro-resolving mediators that have the ability to go to clean up any inflammatory debris that hasn't responded to even maybe some other nutraceuticals or over-the-counter or prescription medications, right? They have potent immunoregulatory effects so they can balance the immune system. They also anti-inflammatory and they inhibit some of the pro-inflammatory mediators that affect the immune system. So awesome research on this. Really excited. Um, we talked a lot about this. You know, we do have the ability to make these in the body, however, due to poor lifestyle um, and poor diet. Most people don't have the ability to really produce these at the level they need. And if you are um, sick or have a disease or, you know, your body has dysfunction, we already know you're not producing these at the level you need. If you did, you wouldn't have that inflammatory response to begin with. So these are the next generation uh, omega-3s. So we select the concentration, the amounts of them, and we have some other proprietary ingredients in here. So the key is the, the 18, 17, and 14. Uh, we'll go a little bit deeper with the research today. However, just remember that Nutritional Frontiers has the highest levels of SPMs on the market. Nobody can have a more concentrated form we have the maximum concentration you can get, similar to our Omega 2800. You can only get so much in one teaspoon, and we have the highest levels in these formulas by choice. So how do they work? You know, I talked this, about this earlier. You know, your, your fluid membrane in every cell in the body, if that's depleted of Omega 3s, there's actually a study in JAMA, the Journal of American Medical Association. Does that have any clout, folks? Yeah, JAMA, it's known as one of the top journals out there. This goes back to 1995 from St. Luke's Hospital in Kansas. When they did, they looked at the omega-3 content of your cells for risk of cardiovascular event. And when they found that when you can get the omega-3 content to about 10%, you reduce your risk of cardiovascular event, i.e. heart attack or stroke, by 90%. That's what you're supposed to say, Wow. There we go. Wow. 90%. This is on the right on JAMA's article going back over 20 years. Now, some people say, well, where's the test and how do we get it? Well, Dr. Michael Wald, a doctor that speaks with Nutritional Frontiers and trains other doctors, he says, look, if you take the test and you're low, what are you going to do? Take omegas. If you take the test and you're good, what are you going to do? Continue to take them. So he says, regardless of where you score, Take omegas. You can change your oil in about three to four months. So I recommend one teaspoon of the omega-3-2800 and two SPMs per day as a foundation for anybody. So these help with um, not only the membrane, but they help reduce things like cardiovascular um, uh, markers like triglycerides, your cholesterol, your HDL and LDL rate ratios will improve. So I still like omega-3s. However, I like to add the SPMs on top. 
So I'm going to go with this a little bit quicker. We talked a lot about this before, the initial response in the last. So look at some of the research that's out there and what types of applications that we've seen from the research. So it's actually done by the um, University of London. And what they want to look at is healthy volunteers. So they just took some healthy people and they said, let's do a randomized trial to understand SPM's actions in humans, right? They want to see what does it do? Well, one is it increased the SPM levels. So we know it actually got absorbed and it had some kind of result downstream. Second, what they found is it actually enhanced the immune cell function and the resilience of the immune cells. So we want to see first, what did it do in healthy individuals? Did you actually get in there and do something? Because healthy individuals should take this too. And then we want to see what do we do when somebody is not healthy? So we know it works in healthy individuals. It gets in there. It actually circulates, it improves the SPM levels, and then secondly, enhances the immune function. Next one was actually done on patients with chronic inflammatory conditions. So these are actually uh, case studies. So they have a series of these where they do individual case studies and they add them all together. So what do they look, and these are people that already have chronic inflammatory conditions, things like osteoarthritis, things like rheumatoid arthritis or autoimmune conditions. So what did they find? Reductions in pro-inflammatory markers, such as what? Maybe interleukin-6, right? TNF-alpha. Um, these are all inflammatory markers that you can see in the body, C-reactive proteins, right? High reactive C-reactive proteins. So one is they reduced the pro-inflammatory markers. That's great, but what about the patient's feedback? Well, Pain scores were improved. So they do these Womack scores where they do symptoms results from people from the patient surveys and all their pain scores were reduced. And they saw improvements in pain-related quality of life. Now, I know we're talking about Tracy's son's only 11. What about somebody that's older, Tracy, that, you know, it's difficult going up and down stairs, right? Difficult mm -hmm. to get in and out of the car. Maybe grocery shopping. You know, I saw a woman, I felt so bad the other day at the grocery store. It was really hard for her just to walk through with the cart, right? So these are what we call, I call, you know, quality of life, right? And pain-related quality of life. So improvements across the board in these. So excellent studies. So not only healthy people, but chronic inflammatory conditions. Yeah, I think it's Next important Next is fibromyalgia, right? Was... And chronic inflammatory, okay. No, I was just going to say, I think it's important to point out that SPMs don't decrease with age. They decrease with lifestyle. So, you know, when we when we talk about young or old, SPMs don't discriminate. Um, it's really based on lifestyle, stress, sleep, all of those factors, Jamie, that we have been pounding for the last two years into people saying these matter. Um, and now we're seeing the scientific result of it. So this is, these are yeah, it goes back 30 years. You know, I was personal training in the early nineties. I remember I had a, a great client when he first came in, this guy was really inflamed, a uh, heavy drinker and he had cardiovascular disease. And mm -hmm. he says, look, I come from money. He says, but I'm not going to live much longer. I never thought this guy would follow the program. And just based on lifestyle, um, it was dramatic in 18 months, mm -hmm. lost over 100 pounds. He was down wow. to one half of one medication from 10 medications. That's so amazing. lifestyle we've been promoting for years, right? Mm -hmm. Look at this one, fibromyalgia, right? So that's where you have chronic muscle pain, right? The muscles are real sore and sensitive, and people have a lot of fatigue. They can't really do a lot because they're in so much pain. Something we promoted for years is power fuel because it inhibits lactic acid production. I think it'd be a great one-two punch now, power fuel and SPMs, because they found improvements in physical functions without the flare-up, right? These people come in here and they call it the magic powder, right? And again, it's interesting you said it's not an age thing because fibromyalgia affects a lot of younger people, right? They have the lactic acid buildup. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Phil even knows some people that are suffering from that. So. I love all this research that's out there on the SPMs because now I'm thinking about all the different ways to bundle these together to maximize the results with the SPMs and some other support nutrients. Uh, the last one or two here is on competitive athletes, done from a chiropractor, Dr. Lazarus. And what he did was he looked at competitive athletes and he did the case studies. Again, that's one study is a case study. When you have a group study, that's a um, placebo control group. 
And what they did is he took together a few case studies and he gave us a summary. And what he found is reductions in pain after physical activity. You know, I've been taking the SPMs. I don't know how long we've had them out now, maybe six weeks. And um, my workouts have been really good. And a lot of little nicks and aches, you know, my calves are really sore for a while. Those aren't bothering me anymore. Um, you know, the hip a little bit, lower back. Now I am getting chiropractic treatment. I was showing a lot of improvement anyway. However, I think the SPMs got me over the hump. Have you seen that to be the case with other patients? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Even things so much as like allergies and headaches and hormone issues, like any place that inflammation is going to impact, uh, these can help, which is everywhere. So I've seen the best results for people with like brain fog and things like that. Um, but again, we're talking about good fats. We're talking about usage of good fats. We're talking about breakdown of inflammation. Um, yeah. So these are like the new headache pill for me too. <laughs> so you don't get headaches. You usually give headaches, I don't. right? That's right. Exactly. Oh, I so I have to give yeah. them to people that she are She gives a headache and then she gives two SPMs and says, call me in the morning, right? So reductions in pain after physical activity. That's fantastic, right? Because you want to be able to work out. You want to be able to be active. It could be walking. It could be hiking. It could be biking, whatever it may be, yoga. Um, so many different things you can do physically. And maybe for some people, it's just, you know, um, activities of daily living, right? Just like shopping and, and, and house cleaning and, you know, just doing the normal things you do. So also you had mentioned mood, brain fog. I, I hear that a lot more these days. So I know there's a component of COVID, but I think there's also a component of stress and that people aren't really clear thinking because the things they're doing to help with their mood actually decrease their mood. So sugar, caffeine, nicotine, alcohol, those types of things. But improvements in fatigue and mood, which would be fantastic, right? Here's the last one. I, and this is where I maybe need a little bit of help. This was done at the Heart and Vascular Center by Dr. Conte. And what they found is patients with peripheral artery disease versus healthy volunteers. It was a short-term uh, dose escalation study. So they start them out uh, small dose and they keep increasing the dose. So increases in the levels of SPMs and their ratio with prostaglandins, which is an inflammatory marker in the blood. So they improve the, the SPMs in the blood and the ratio. Increases of SPMs in the HDL, the healthy dense lipoproteins. So that's really good. And changes in immune cell resolution. So these are really in-depth studies done on a nutraceutical, which in the past, maybe we didn't get enough um, studies done on nutraceuticals. I know there's a lot on fish oil, but what are your thoughts on something like this, Tracy? Because this gives us a tremendous amount of hope for cardiovascular disease and circulation. Well, I think it's important to differentiate the HDL and LDL. You know, for simplicity, LDL carries things out to where they're supposed to go, and HDL cleans everything up. So you want a higher level of HDL so that you have more cleanup of things that aren't used, such as cholesterol and things of that nature. Um, so when they increase the SPMs and they increase the cr cleanup crew, which is what we were talking about earlier, like NSAIDs can shut off, you know, inflammation, but it doesn't activate cellular repair. Same thing with cholesterol medicine. It can shut off the production of cholesterol, but it doesn't repair the arteries and veins and all wow. of the things that cholesterol is out trying to do. It's trying to anatomically patch. It's trying to connect with a good, healthy fat to help build your brain. Like cholesterol is good. So when we added the SPMs, right? So these guys added the SPMs and what it did was it actually reduced inflammation, reduced uh, overall destruction and oxidation of different cells and structures. And so therefore they didn't need to send out more cholesterol and more, you know, more hardening of the arteries. It actually sent out more HDL. It actually resolved the phenotype. It actually promoted the, you know, topoprostaglandins and uh, help blood plasma and viscosity. It's all inflammation, all of yeah. it. So I think it's amazing that one nutraceutical can really be the backbone of a lot of issues and helping resolve them. Yeah, one of the positive things with, you know, the whole COVID situation was that the integrity that nutraceuticals and natural healing got, right? So we got a lot of um, improvement um, in the, the public side in the last 18 to 24 months. And I think there's a lot of resources going into nutraceuticals now, especially the food-based ones, right? The oils, 
uh, SPM, yeah. things like that, because they know that these concentrations can be at therapeutic levels versus you know very minimal levels that you may be getting from your lifestyle. And when you have a poor lifestyle, you have dysfunction or disease in the body, you need the therapeutic levels to get you over the hump. And I, I'm so excited about all the research going into this and I'm really excited about the results we've been getting already on the SPMs by Nutritional Frontiers. So uh, I'm going to go through this a little bit quicker. You just want to comment on this one without getting too technical? Yeah, this is just a breakdown. So at the top, you see the e, um, EPA and the DHA, uh, and then the second block down in the gray where it says COX-2, that is the enzyme that's now going to bind with that good fat. Uh, and then where you see the numbers 18, 17, and 14, those are what we call pre-resolvins. And you need pre-resolvins in that COX-2 enzyme, along with other enzymes, to then create the specialized pro-resolving mediators. So when we say SPMs, we say these are specialized pro-resolving mediators. That's not really what we are. What we put in the bottle are the numbers, the 18, and they're called uh, hydroxylated metabolites. That's what's in our formulation, are these different variations of these hydroxylated metabolites called pro-resolvins, uh, 18, 17, and 14. And they bind with all those cool enzymes in your body that are given from good fats uh, to reduce and create pathways of anti-inflammatory properties, whether it's resolvins, lipoxins, and all those fancy names. It's just a breakdown. It's how it works. Um, and Jamie, where the NSAIDs work, and you're great at explaining this, is it just shuts off that enzyme. Yeah. So, And then it shuts it off everywhere. So in one part of your body, that enzyme might be causing issues. But in another part of your body, it's part of repairing issues. So if you shut it off on one place, you shut it off everywhere. And I know you've talked before about that's why we have such major stomach bleeds and cardiovascular issues with NSAIDs because that enzyme in cardiovascular and that enzyme in your stomach is a repairer, right? But in the joint, it's an inflamer. So, you know, our body doesn't do anything wrong. If we give it the right nutrients, it'll take those nutrients and it'll do what it's supposed to do. And that's what the SPMs do. They fill the gaps yeah. where people are missing pieces of the puzzle. Yeah, Dr. Jeffrey Bland taught me that almost 20 years ago when those new selective two COX inhibitors, Celebrex and Biox, came out. He says, look, this is too far downstream. You need to go upstream where the core of the inflammatory response is. He says, because these COX-2 enzymes in the joint create pain, but in the gut, the kidneys, the liver, and the arteries, these are repair mechanisms. He said, so when you shut these down, what's going to happen? He said this before they were even pulled off the market. He said, you're going to see a stomach bleeding, kidney issues, liver issues, and you double your risk of heart attacks. So if you're taking COX-2 inhibitors and they're over the counter or by prescription, you know, something as simple as Celebrex, Vioxx, uh, ibuprofen, Tylenol, these are all COX-2 inhibitors. And they were designed for acute use, right? And what they found is that the users actually are heavy users and chronic users. So you're only supposed to use those for 24 to 48 hours in a very rare situation. However, it's like everything else. People think, you know, more is better. And that's created a lot of issues for people. Even young adults. We've seen some local high school football players that had stomach bleeding because they were trying to, um, manage the pain so they can play their senior year. And in turn, they found the parent found the one kid on the floor in the kitchen doubled over in pain, right, from stomach bleeding. So, yeah, that's a uh, great topic for down the road. So we have the EPA, DHA, you know, all um, converting down these pathways. But when you add in the 18, 17, and 14, then you get these um, pro-resolving mediators. So I'm going to fast forward due to time. So there's the SPM dosage. I like two per day for a chronic individual. Um, however, we found as you can go two, four, or six. What's your thoughts on the dosing, Tracy? While well, we got a minute left. Yeah, I actually like four a day um, for most people that are in some sort of inflammatory state. I mean, I, my son took two yesterday, so you know he's a <clears throat> hundred pounds, maybe a hundred and ten pounds, and eleven years old. And I would have given him more if I didn't see a resolving of the inflammation. <clears throat> that's the good thing is that they're safe. It's, you know, the worst thing that can happen by taking them is you might go into the bathroom a little bit, but 
I mean, you probably needed to. So that's my whole thing. I would give up to six a day, no problem for anybody. Yeah, I was talking to a gentleman early today, but you know about uh, costs on, on nutraceuticals, and you know I think the uh, usual the uh, knee jerk reaction is, well, medicine's free. Well, it is after you pay that um, health insurance payment each month, which is quite costly, right? And if it's not fixing you, you need to do something different. But when you break down the SPMs, you're looking at about two bucks a day. So, you know. I don't see people having a problem with a lot of other things that are two, three, four, five bucks a day. So it's always um, the one investment I always recommend to make, Phil, that always pays off dividends forever is invest in your health. And it's another example of the SPM. So come on down, folks. We'll, you're here today till 7 p.m. It's a full schedule today. We have everyone here to help you. We got the free, healthy, organic food out front with the Arisa food truck. We have all the samples, all the smoothies, literature, workshops. People answer any questions for you, samples to take with you. We have the new literature racks that are full and ready to go. So come on down, folks. We're here to help you. If you'd like to place an order by the phone, please call 412-922-WELL. That's 412-922-9355. If you want to do a curbside pickup, call ahead of time. If not, come on down. We're here all day and all week. So thanks, Dr. Tracy. Thanks so, uh, so much, Phil. And thanks for everyone listening. Have a great day and God bless. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Thank you. Big applause. All right, guys, stay tuned because we're going to be discussing medical treatment in a COVID world next on the round table. That'll be Jamie, Joe, and myself. And uh, I think it'll be a good conversation to have. You know, what is happening with all the treatment protocols? What is working? What's not? What's the standard of care? And can we do better? I think yes. <laughs>